I'm Chard. I'm here for the Art for the Earth Charity Arts Auction and Exhibition here in London. If you haven't heard about it, Art for the Earth is in aid of WWF UK, organised by my good friend Chris Player. I've come up here to London to see it in person, to talk to Chris and to share the experience with you. Let's go. So Chris, how did Art for the Earth come about? Art for the Earth was something that I, I started last year when I was uh, struggling for time to volunteer. Um, so I was, just thought, well, I wanted to do more painting. I wanted to do something positive with that painting. And um, just decided really that I would uh, auction those artworks. But the really cool thing that came out of it was so many people got in touch afterwards and they said I wish I knew about this happening because I would have liked to have contributed art, photos. I thought well let's try and open it up a bit and bring in everyone that wanted to join in so uh, that's kind of where it started. So how did I get involved in Art for the Earth? One of my photos was selected uh, as inspiration for the panel of 13 artists along with three other photos. So you will see uh, my photo played out in many, many different interpretations. So in total it's four photos, 13 different artists as well as guest contributions. All in all we're going to get the opening event, uh, the outdoor exhibition itself and finally the closing event. So here's hoping for canapes. I'm here at the PwC Embankment office where the opening event Art for the Earth is going to take place and it's pretty elegant actually. Why WWF UK? Behind it all is this passion to want to do something good for the planet. Mm. Fear that things are going really badly for our planet and that we're making things worse. And I wanted to raise awareness for for the whole message of it because when you start scratching on the surface of it, it's um, you know, it's not just global warming. It's not just about deforestation or protecting species. It is a huge huge thing when you actually look at the whole thing as a whole you realize how interconnected it all is and how one small tweak over here can then impact so many other things and that's when you start to really get a feel for the gravity of what we've got coming and WWF as an organization do everything they challenge government officials they they protect wild, wildlife, um, endangered, endangered species. They they really go after every single important cause, climate change, and bring it all together in one place and say, 
look, this is everything that we're facing right now, and and we want to try and resolve it all. I'm here at the Tate, where the exhibition isn't. So I'm just going to the closing event at PwC More London, uh, going past obviously where the outdoor exhibition was earlier. Everything has been switched around and I'm really excited, Tower Bridge. I couldn't help but having a quick curious look at eBay just now, it's just under two hours until the closing time of the auction. A lot of the pieces are going for upwards of £100, I think the highest bidding piece is up at nearly £400. A lot of money is being raised for WWF UK so it looks like it's going to be a success. How much are we at? We are at 165, 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds. Alright, you've got that one. No, no, no. Last 20 seconds. 305. Woo! Okay, contribution. Incredible. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> will you be doing Art for the Earth again next year? Yeah, I think we will. Um, we've learned a lot of really good things this year and it's great to see that it was a success um, and I think we'll make a few tweaks to what we did this year but there have been again more and more people reaching out saying I wish I knew about this sooner so I could have joined in and you know let's do it again so those people that wanted to join us can have that opportunity and we'll try and keep it going. Just finally is it true that you tried to get uh, David Attenborough along to Art for the Earth this year? It is, yeah. I wrote to him. Did he write back? He wrote back, yeah. Handwritten letter um, within a week as well, which is wow. amazing for someone that is that busy and had COP26 and all this coming up. So I can't believe that he took the time to, to make the effort to write uh, and acknowledge what we were doing. We would have loved to have him there and potentially be a speaker as well. But um, I think that was maybe a bit, a bit too... <laughs> too much to try and ask him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for talking to me.